In the remote highlands of Papua New Guinea, China Metallurgical Company is building a new nickel and cobalt mine above the Ramu River. It's called Ramu Nico. The company has forcibly relocated hundreds of villagers who lived on top of the mineral deposit and is dumping five million tons of toxic mining waste into the ocean every year. When we were filming Standing on Sacred Ground, Chinese workers were building a new refinery at Basamuk Bay on communally owned land that included an ancestral burial ground. We went there with clan leader Sama Malombo. This has been our site where our cemetery has been. They have entered our country, Papua New Guinea, and without respect for our environment, our cultural sites, which has been clearly marked and known to them before they set foot to this land. Look at what they've done to our land. Look at what they've done. No, we, we just can't accept it. Ramu Niko's security arrived while we were filming and told Malumbo he was trespassing and would have to leave. Yeah. But here is our working area. This is my land. I'm standing on my land. You have no right. Yeah, yeah. Go back to Mongolia. Yeah. Okay. Go but now you are not allowed to take pictures. After this confrontation, we were detained against our will at a makeshift police station inside a shipping container surrounded by armed guards. Little did I know that our cameraman, Andy Black, left the camera running as we were taken inside. First, uh, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm a security manager here for uh, MCC Ram Cook Project. Uh, I know this morning uh, you four came here to take some photos without our permission. Even though you have been invited by this VIP, I know something about you from our management. Yes, also some days ago, maybe yesterday, you came to our headquarters in Madame want to uh, have an interview with our bosses, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you, I know that. So you just want to uh, collect some information, just want to make a good story, full information. We're doing a film about development in Medang. We're not trying to hide anything. I'm going to tell you what are requirements for you. First, uh, if you can live, if you can, if you can, you can leave your island. So you told me uh, you now you have no passport. Hey, trouble, trouble for you. And also we don't want to keep your passport. Right. You just give us information only. Right. Information only. Right. You just tell the truth. Right. Okay, we check. Okay. What is your right name? Okay, understand. your passport number. I understand. Finish. That's fine. Our our passport copies are in Summa's village. If you want to send someone with us, we'd be happy to give you those numbers. Absolutely. No problem. Oh, sorry. Uh, I forgot a very important thing. Uh, I think you have to delete or video data. Anything about our run for project today you have already took took it. Taken. Uh, that I don't understand because we're just we're just working with Sama. Yeah. Actually yeah now uh, you have been invited from him, but actually this is our mindset. We have the right to talk to any editors, right? Because this project is not uh, for individuals just between two countries, you know, Bianji and China. And also two ministers, two ministers just made an agreement for this project. So an area of here that should be protected by the government. So you, you, you came here, took some photos. No, it's illegal for you to do that. I think so. Are we terrorists? You have, you have no right to hold us here. You have no right to hold us here. You have no right to hold us here. No, no you, you have no right to hold us here. What happened to us? I think later. You have no right. Even though China Metallurgical Company had paid for their trucks and guns, it turned out the policemen charged with protecting the company's interests were all clan relatives of Sama Malumbo. 
and they were content to let us hold on to our footage and get away. <laughs>